Hello everyone. Welcome to Mechanical Software Education channel. In this video we are going to learn about the stress analysis of a three bar truss element by using ANSYS. We need to uh, know about uh, what is meant by truss. A truss is defined as a structure made up of several bars which should be riveted or welded together. And now look at this drawing. You have a three bar, one, two and three and uh, one side of the bar is uh, getting uh, arrested or even it should be of a fixed one and uh, the other side is uh, free and uh, it should be connected three bars are connected in uh, one particular region and uh, the loads acting in the particular uh, connected region is in a downward direction and also even in x direction x in terms of uh, negative it should be in opposite side and uh, y should be in a downward direction so it should be also a negative term okay now we need to give some uh, node numbers here so starting from here uh, this point should be taken as a first node and here it is a second node the distance between uh, node number one and two is given as l1 so the l1 value is given as three meter and now uh, the second uh, bar which should be connected with uh, number 1 and 3 1 and 3 the distance between this 1 and 3 is nothing but L2 the same distance 3 meter and also uh, we just want to connect one more uh, 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 bar or the link from 1 and 4 and the distance is L3 and again it is same uh, 3 meters okay all the dimensions are in meter and the entire area for uh, uh, this truss element is same for link 1, 2 and 3. So the area is given as 4 into 10 to the power of uh, minus 4 meter square. And now the inputs what we are going to give is uh, Young's modulus value and also the Poisson's ratio value. So these are all the input data we are going to give and including area while we are going to give some inputs in uh, uh, ANSYS. Okay. So now uh, we need to uh, know about uh, the uh, displacement happens in uh, uh, node number 1, node number 2, node number 3 and also 4. So for uh, node number 1 uh, the value should be given as uh, u1 uh, this should be u1 and uh, uh, this should be uh, v1. So fix that point as uh, u1 and uh, v1 or you can uh, give uh, u u2 you can also use u2 here u1 u2 so for uh, each and every node you have uh, two displacements it uh, represents that it is a uh, two dimensional so u1 and u2 so here also you have uh, two directions uh, the uh, displacement should be acting in a two two direction so you can also write it as a continuity that is u3 and uh, here u4 and also in the third node you can give the continuation that is u5 and also u6 okay so now in the fourth node you can also uh, use the same uh, uh, displacement that is continuity uh, u7 and u8 so totally you have a u8 uh, that is eight displacements acting in the uh, three bar truss element so normally we already know uh, while it is fixed the displacement should be zero so uh, normally in a theoretical uh, value uh, this is the validation values are here uh, you just check with this uh, u1 and u2 so the load acting in the uh, component in the x direction and also even in the y direction the values should be here and all the other times that is u3 to u8 it is fixed so the entire uh, displacement value is going to be zero so this is the concept uh, we are going to uh, find in ANSYS and we are going to validate the results uh, from ANSYS to the theoretical value. Okay, So before that uh, we need to know about uh, uh, the values, uh, how to find the node uh, uh, value. Now there is a node value means the exact x value and y value. Uh, it is the point where we are going to fix. So normally the first point should be at uh, origin. So node number one should be in uh, zero comma zero, and node number two 
uh, we already know the height of this uh, bar as 3 so 0 comma 3 is the second node and uh, coming back to the third node uh, you don't have any uh, height here so likewise we already know the entire uh, length of the hypotenuse term should be known as 3 meter okay so now we are going to find uh, the x parameter and also y parameter with the help of uh, a trigonometrical uh, term that is to find the exact point of uh, node number 3 with the help of trigonometry term that is 3 co cos 45 degree if you go for this value or this uh, trigonometrical term you can find the uh, value as 2.121 uh, one. okay so this is for your x direction okay now if you want to find the y direction so it should be of a uh, uh, 3 sine 45 if you go for this value you can again get the same uh, value that is 2.121 with the help of uh, this trigonometrical value you can you can easily find the x time and also y time so 2.121 comma 2.121 and now we can find uh, the node number fourth uh, term that is x value should be 3 and y value is 0 so with the help of uh, these parameters we can easily draw uh, the three bar truss element and we can uh, just validate with the help of uh, uh, this theoretical term. So this is the uh, nodal displacement values and also this stress and also we can uh, find the reaction force to check whether our given uh, load values are same or not. Okay, so let me move on to answers. Let's start here. Uh, we just start with uh, uh, preferences, uh, structural, uh, preprocessor on this preprocessor go to element type uh, add your element uh, go to add and uh, for uh, trace element we are going to take a uh, uh, link element this is a 3d finite strain 180 uh, that is a short form for link 180 as our element it should be of a 3d spire or even a truss element uh, normally uh, while we are going for a truss element uh, uh, we can use this kind of uh, uh, link alone uh, the element is uh, uh, uniaxial tension or compression elements with uh, three degrees of freedom at each node. We already uh, discussed that uh, each and every node having uh, displacements uh, of u1, u2, u3, u4 up to u8. Okay, so for uh, this uh, 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 this link 180, uh, the each and every node having a three degrees of freedom. It should be a, uh, it should be of a translation in x direction, y direction and also z direction. Okay, so mainly uh, it is a, a plasticity creep or, or rotation, even uh, large deflection and uh, uh, large strain capabilities uh, are just included in this element, link 180. So normally we'll check or to find the stresses or even uh, the displacements, we can choose this link 180. Okay, some of the assumptions can also be included while choosing this uh, element that is link 180. Before that we just go for uh, material models a uh, structural, linear, elastic, isotropic. Here we are going to uh, use uh, the E value that is 2.01 E7 2.01 E7 and uh, uh, the Poisson's ratio is 0 0.33. So you can give OK and now uh, normally uh, the supported materials for link 180 we need to know about this because uh, uh, what are the materials uh, we it just supported we need to know that is uh, mainly a creep or even a bilinear kinematic uh, hardenings uh, then a bilinear isotropic hardening like uh, uh, damage initia uh, initiation uh, criteria and uh, some of uh, uh, the thermal expansion that is quotient of thermal expansion etc might be uh, supported material properties for uh, this link 180 so go to close and then then go for sections in this section you just uh, go for link click on link and add your link that is starting with the first link and give ok and uh, the section name I want to give the section name as link 1 L1 so we, we you need to know about this so uh, the link 1 the L1 stands for the distance between 1 and 2 so this is the link we are going to take and this is link number one or I gave the uh, link 
number is 1 so the name of this link is given as L1 and L2 L3 so uh, while we are going to give some numbers we just want to uh, carefully note it and also uh, the area for each and every uh, link is same that is 4 into 10 to the power of minus 4 we are going to give 4 e minus 4 okay so here the link area must be given so 4 uh, e minus 4 that's the value uh, then give apply I already told you that the tension key must be of tension and compression it should be of a uniaxial uh, element and give apply and now we need to change the ideas to second ID give ok and we need to give L2 for the section name and again the same area that is 4 E minus 4 and give apply and third link the third ID we are going to give as L3 and the same area that is 4 E minus 4 give ok we just uh, uh, named uh, the three uh, bar that is uh, three uh, uh, spare as one two and three so one stands for the link between uh, node number one and two and second uh, link stands for node number one and uh, three and the third link stands for number one and four okay so now we need to create a model on the creation of model create uh, we just go for nodes uh, inactive coordinate system we just start with the inactive coordinate system start with the first uh, uh, mm -hmm. node number that is 1 0 and 0 this is the first node number give ok and second uh, node number the value is uh, 0 comma uh, 3 that is a height 0 comma 3 and the third uh, third term we already found with the help of a trigonometrical term that is 3 cos 45 and uh, 3 sin 45 the value is 2.121 uh, uh, let me check here 2.121 here 2.121 and now go to uh, this model 2.121 and again in y-axis it should be 2.121 you apply and now the fourth uh, node it should be x direction it should be 3 and uh, in y direction it's it is 0 give ok so now you already created uh, node number 1 2 3 and 4 so while creating or uh, uh, this link 180 or even the truss element uh, some of the assumptions we need to give so that is nothing but uh, the uh, spare element assumes a straight bar actually loaded at its end and uh, of uniform properties from end to end so the properties the uh, cross-section mu must be uniform the length of the spire must be greater than zero so uh, node number i and j must not be coincident actually you just start with the one and two the first node having a uh, node number i and the second node having node number j and also by connecting this one and three uh, we need to go for uh, i -th node and j -th node and from connectivity of uh, point number or node number 1 and 4 uh, the node number i and j should be taken likewise and the cross-section uh, area must be greater than 0 it is so much important while designing this truss element this is the assumptions we need to uh, made uh, while uh, checking the uh, stresses or even uh, displacement reactions whatever it may be so go to elements here we need to go for uh, element uh, attributes and uh, now check uh, whether all the uh, links are there the material numbers is given as one so we just chose only uh, one element here and here we can check section number that is L1, L2, L3 so here uh, we need to go for L1 first and give ok and auto numbered uh, through nodes we can create we need to create uh, one line with uh, through nodes and give ok so now we need to change uh, the element attributes it is there in the L1 and now change to L2 in this uh, steps you must understand that which one is taken as L1 which one is taken as L2 which one is taken as L3 because all the areas for this three 
uh, three bar uh, uh, stress element is almost the same that is 4e minus 4 we gave and if the value of this area is different means we need to give l1 for uh, different area and l2 for different area for that process we need to uh, check this auto numbered or even element attributes in a uh, a good manner we need to uh, give correctly for uh, the l1 or l2 whatever it may be okay now we just check the element attributes we need to change l3 give okay and go to same through nodes we just start with a one and a four if the area is differ uh, the entire problem answer should be g uh, get wrong even the stress value or even the displacement value it should be getting wrong because uh, in this problem all the areas are, uh, are getting same so s no need to worry about that and now uh, go for giving some solutions and no need to go for meshing because we created uh, uh, different uh, settings here or like uh, we created uh, nodes and also elements so no need to go for uh, meshing here and now define load apply structural and the first one is to displacement on nodes so first uh, second node third node and fourth node are fixed one so go to ok and all degrees of freedom are fixed so here in this uh, three nodes are fixed and only one node having uh, uh, loads one should be in a downward direction so select the first node here you apply and in x direction so in x direction what's the value it is a 10 uh, e 3 that is a 10 into 10 to the power of 3 and in downward direction it is 20 into 10 to the power of 3 so in x direction it should be minus 10 e 3 you apply and again select the same first uh, node uh, give fy and uh, give 20 e 3 so now check this values 20 e 3 and uh, 10 e 3 so give ok and now uh, we created uh, or we just uh, uh, confirmed our boundary conditions and now we just uh, solve this problem just wait for a while oh, ok solution is done so now check your results with the general post processor uh, now check the deform shape first deformed and undeformed uh, you can check here the link there is a truss element uh, just move down the directions that's why the first the second node third node and fourth node are fixed and uh, here the uh, first node having a load at uh, y direction and x direction here the y direction having a maximum load that's why the uh, deflection should be there in a downward direction so go to uh, counter plot in that nodal solution you can check the degrees of freedom solution uh, in x direction or even uh, displacement vector sum give okay so the maximum value you can uh, get here that is 4.7563 meters okay so now uh, check the value for uh, uh, stress uh, list results and here you can go for uh, the nodal solution uh, degrees of solution uh, displacement vector sum that's the value here so this is the value uh, what we are going to find there is uh, 0 0.93262 and uh, minus 4.6640 uh, you can check these values here uh, sorry minus 9.379 into 10 to the power of minus 5 so that that's a value uh, you can check here that is 0 0.93262 so uh, on that term you can find here that is 9.379 into the power of minus 5 so this is the exact uh, same value here so because uh, that term you can check 0 0.9 here 9 point something into 10 to the power of minus 5 you can check and for u2 that's a value minus 4.6640 and that that's the term here 4.66 into the power of minus 4 newton meter so this is the value uh, for the displacement and we can uh, easily get 
got this uh, term with the help of uh, uh, completing the solution and now we can check the stress value go to uh, one measure stress okay sorry uh, no data sir here sorry sorry okay now we can go for uh, uh, plot results and uh, go for uh, element solution on that element solution we can check okay there is no element solution so here we just go for a nodal solution and again go to stress here we can check this one measure stress okay there should not be any one measure stress if you want to check this one measure stress we can go for uh, this uh, element table uh, define table you can add your element in a stress stress okay okay now we can go for uh, by sequence number we can check uh, this load step load step is one and uh, give apply and uh, next uh, by sequence number load step is two we can check here okay now go to list result sorry plot results and uh, control plot line element results and i node and uh, j node we can give l1 and l2 so this is the exact value the maximum uh, load step from uh, i node and j node i node and j node is nothing but the ls1 stands for i node and ls2 that is load step uh, uh, 2 stands for uh, j node so that's a concept here and now uh, list results we can go for uh, uh, reaction solution can check the reaction solution so totally we gave a uh, 10,000 value in the x direction and 20,000 uh, Newton in the y direction so all these values are here in uh, positive we gave the values uh, in the negative for uh, our uh, acting in the opposite direction that is minus term so here so we need to check uh, whether our results are same or not we can check so nodal solution so degrees of freedom can check okay so now I go to style size and shape and on this element and uh, I can check now for stress okay so now we have a uh, stress value here and uh, in this stress value we can go for uh, a one measure stress here and now check with the uh, animation uh, with the uh, deformed results so stress in one measures so now how the stress is happening in this uh, three bore element so the maximum uh, load happens in this way or uh, we can compare with this three bar so this vertical bar having a uh, maximum stresses compared with the uh, other two okay so with the help of uh, these datas we can easily find uh, the stress parameter we can check so now you can check the stress value sigma 1 and uh, sigma 2 here uh, here the values are uh, shown in this way so 0.6248 here and the first uh, stress value zero point uh, two one one you can check here In this part you can check in node number one so 0 0.21 and in node number two it should be uh, 0 0.31294 and uh, in node number three it should be 0 0.2651 here it is uh, 2652 and in node number four it is uh, 0 
six to something okay so if we can check for uh, validation you can check with the help of uh, theoretical parameters and now uh, it is almost uh, uh, it is closer to your uh, theoretical value so with the help of uh, these data we can easily get uh, or we can easily find the exact solutions through ANSYS okay okay uh, that's all guys uh, while uh, uh, we want to get the results uh, through the stress in a load step we can uh, again go to this element table on this define table we can choose this uh, load step value for one and two components uh, that one stands for uh, i node and two stands for the j node okay so uh, thank you uh, very much guys if you really enjoyed this video and you get gained more knowledge about uh, this uh, trust element uh, you can press like and comment subscribe my channel and support me thank you thank you very much